Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video on my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so for today, as some of you may have seen on Monday, one of my watches here got stolen from my hotel room. And so what I wanted to do today is go have a look around in a few watch shops to see if there's anything else that I like that might be uh, filling up the gap that my Seiko left behind. So yeah, uh, please sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, and subscribe, obviously. The next part of the video will be a voiceover. As you can see, I'm wearing my Hamilton Cacafield Mechanical on a NATO strap, and I'm getting ready to leave, obviously putting my mask on for COVID reasons, and making sure I completely shut my door when leaving, so no one can take any more watches. This is Friedrichshain Park. I'm on my way to the watch shops um, and I decided to not take the metro but to take a walk through the parks. This part of the video is a voiceover because I didn't yet feel comfortable getting my camera out and talking to it in public. I'm sure that's something that I'll try to do in the future, but for right now, stick with me with this voiceover. My whole plan of this trip was going out and trying to find uh, my Seiko that was just recently stolen and buying it back. So the first store I'm headed to is a Seiko authorized retailer um, to go see um, some more Seiko watches and obviously some other German brands that I'm interested in. At the store, the first watch that was there and that I put on was the Zinn Chronograph. This is just new with a very interesting dial. I was actually very happy that they had it there because I fell in love with it ever since I saw it on Instagram for the first time. Up next is a Zinn 556. You guys probably know this watch. I did like the watch, but I didn't like it on the leather plate, uh, the leather strap. I'm looking forward to trying this one on the leather brace. Oh, sorry, on the metal bracelet. Up next is a watch from Union Glasuta, a brand that I don't know that well, but obviously the dial was, was super interesting to me, so I wanted to try it on. In the next store, I tried on a few watches from Breitling, the first one being the Aviator GMT, which obviously I knew was going to be too big, but I wanted to be sure. And it reminds me a lot of the IWC uh, Big Pilot, because it obviously has the same dimensions and the same aesthetic. Up next is a watch that I really love, it's the 1953 re-edition, I think it fits my um, wrist perfectly and I really like it. Another watch that I fell in love with recently is the Omega Seamaster Diver 300 Nexon Edition and it's a watch that I'm really considering buying as my first luxury watch. In the end I ended up not picking up a new Seiko watch, um, this is me on my way back to my hotel. Uh, I did feel comfortable buying and rebuying the watch that I just owned and that was just taken from me. Um, so I will guess I'll leave that for another video for another time once I feel ready to, to rebuy it. It's not because of the watch, it's just because you know it, it didn't feel right replacing it. So in the end I ended up uh, going to a few watch shops um, to see what watch I was potentially going to buy when my internships ended. It's uh, something that I've been uh, looking forward to ever since I started working and it's a big motivation to do my, well in my internship um, to let myself purchase uh, another watch um, in a few months. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments down below which watches you like best and let me know in the comments as well um, what you want to see next from me. Bye-bye, guys.